How to treat dog bite wounds on dogs. If your dog is attacked by another dog, your dog may have wounds as a result of the fight. It is imperative that you determine how serious the bite on your dog is, and whether it requires an immediate emergency trip to the vet clinic or if it is a nip or surface bite you can treat at home. Unfortunately, some injuries may be deeper than they appear at first glance, so if you are ever in doubt or uncertain how serious the bite is, take your dog in to your vet to check the severity of the bite. Determining if the dog bite requires a vet. If your dog is bleeding heavily, take him to the vet. Blood pumping from the wound is a sign that an artery or large vein has been damaged. The blood vessel may need to be ligated tied off in a surgical procedure done by your vet. Use a sterile gauze swab to apply pressure to the wound. Do this as a first aid measure on the way to the vet. You will find sterile gauze swabs in a first aid kit. If you don't have a first aid kit handy, you can use an article of clothing like a cotton t-shirt, diaper, or maxi pad to create a compress and press it against the wound with sufficient pressure to stop the bleeding. After 5 minutes, cautiously lift the compress up. If the bleeding starts again, replace the pad and hold it in place until you arrive at the vet clinic. Use a cotton t-shirt rather than a wool sweater or anything fuzzy, as fibers from these materials can get into the wound. Check your dog to see if they have rapid, shallow breathing. This is a possible indication of shock, which can be life-threatening in its own right, or that a tooth has penetrated into your dog's chest and is allowing air to enter the thoracic cavity. Take them to the vet clinic as soon as possible, as this serious injury needs immediate medical attention. If you can see a wound over your dog's ribs, place a pad a sterile gauze swab or a folded cotton t-shirt over the wound and either hold it there, or secure it in place with a tie or belt, tied around the dog's chest. You are trying to seal off the hole to prevent air from entering your dog's chest and causing his lungs to collapse. If your dog displays any weakness, pale gums, or loses consciousness, take him to the vet. There are all signs of possible shock or internal bleeding. Stop any obvious hemorrhage with sterile gauze or a cotton pad. Cover the dog with a coat or blanket to keep him warm, and make your way to the vet clinic. Search for any large wounds or flaps of skin on your dog. If your dog was shaken in the jaws of their attacker, a large wound or skin flap may have been torn away from the underlying tissues. Use sachets of sterile saline from a first aid kit to flush the wound. If you do not have access to a first aid kit with saline, you can make a salt water solution. Use 16 ounces of previously boiled water and stir in 1 teaspoon of salt. Allow the solution to cool to body temperature and then soak cotton wool in the salt water, and use it to clean your dog's injuries. If you do not have access to sterile saline or time to make a salt water solution and your dog's wound warrants a trip to the vet, don't worry about this step. Your vet will be sure to thoroughly flush the area. Clean any wounds as best as you can before heading to the vet. To clean the wound, snip the corner off a saline sachet and squirt the fluid over the wound. This flushes away contaminants and reduces the risk of infection setting in. Reserve a small volume of saline and use it to moisten the sterile dressing pad in the first aid kit. Place the moist dressing pad over the wound and bandage it in place. This keeps the exposed tissue moist on the way to the clinic and in optimal condition for suturing.